Grand rising love. This is the altar spread for the collective today. And so the sacred geometry that showed up is mountain messengers. And the sacred geometry that's hidden in the mountain is the pentagram. This is the symbolism of power and direction and protection. And so when we are fully embodied in spirit and know that we are the same as everything that we see, we become more connected to nature. And then nature becomes our teacher. And there is power and there is protection in that. And that's where we can access our true nature is seeing nature around us. The seer brings the same message, honoring your intuition, but knowing that our true wisdom comes from that intuition, not from anything that can be taught to you. And so it is connecting with nature. It's being in surrender and allowing that receptivity to teach you. And so wisdom from Apophilate comes with that same exact message that there is nothing that you can be taught that you won't already know. And these are from the experiences and your soul knowledge that you have brought in. And so listening to your intuition is what your deepest wisdom is. And I love this because this brings really the lesson of what is what? Like, is it knowledge or is it wisdom? And there's that old adage, like knowledge is knowing that tomato is a fruit, but wisdom is knowing that you don't put it in a fruit salad. And so wisdom is not something that can be taught. It's an experience of the soul. And your intuition is so keen with discernment around wisdom. And so when you are fully heart-centered and in your highest integrity, you will be led by wisdom. And Pachamama, she with the Andean Emerald Heart, this speaks of the beautiful Gaia, Mother Earth, that teaches us, but connects us to all beings. And that's the same common pulse. Really, is the stronger connected you are to nature and your true nature, you will fully embody your intuition, which is really the purpose of having the human experience. And so there is no confusion in that. Everything becomes clear and aligned and in highest integrity. And there is a prayer for this. So if you just take a nice, deep, collective inhale, shaking out your shoulders. Releasing with an audible sigh. And stay connected to my voice in this prayer. Inamaka, my earth mother. Gaia, mother nature. Earth goddess and Buddha of equanimity. She with the Andean Emerald Heart, I offer my gratitude and reverence in this ritual to love, honor, and nourish you. Aho.